Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be discussing fuel additives. Now, fuel additives are liquids that you simply add to your fuel with the intentions of cleaning the entire fuel system out, uh, removing deposits as well as moisture, among other things. In this particular video I'll be discussing Gumout's multi-system tune-up, which contains a variety of uh, cleaning and conditioning agents, which are used to clean out your fuel system and engine. I'm going to be discussing how it works, the active ingredients, and then looking to some scholarly journals to see whether or not those active ingredients do what they claim to do. So how does gum out work? Well, one of the main cleansing agents is PEA, or polyethylamine. So what this is, is a nitrogen-based detergent, and it's used to break the deposits uh, off of whatever they bonded to. So it breaks the bonds down of carbon deposits, and then those uh, particles will pass out through your exhaust once they've kind of solubilized with the gasoline. So, so you'll put the fuel additive in your fuel tank and then it'll mix with your gasoline uh, or diesel fuel and then that'll go through your fuel injector. So through the fuel injector it'll spray and it'll clean off uh, the back of your intake valve then it'll go within the combustion chambers. Uh, and one of the unique things about polyethylamine is that it doesn't break down at super high temperatures so it remains intact for the initial uh, intake stroke while it's going into the hot combustion chamber and it can break down these carbon deposits uh, in this high temperature area, which not all additives can do. Another additive is isopropyl alcohol. So what this does is for cars that have been sitting around for a long time, that have had humidity or condensation buildup and water within the fuel, uh, the water separates out basically. Uh, and what this does is by adding alcohol, the alcohol will mix with the water and then basically solubilize that into the gasoline. So it's burned with everything else and passes out the exhaust just like the gasoline does. Uh, it also prevents the water from freezing, so if you do get water uh, that gets in a fuel line or something like that, then it'll prevent that from freezing since it kind of mixes with it. Now, Gumout includes some test information on their product on their website, which I will include the link in the description, but basically they follow the American Society for Tests and Materials, uh, D6201, which what this does is it uses a Ford 2.3 liter engine, and you do 50 hours of dirtying of the engine and then 50 hours of cleaning the engine with whatever product you're using. Uh, and when they ran this test, they found that the intake uh, valve deposit weight was reduced by 72% from 222 milligrams after the initial 50 hours of dirtying down to 62 milligrams after the 50 hours of running it with gum out. Now, because I'm an engineer and I'm never satisfied with one source, I looked to some scholarly journals out there to see if I could find anything that backs up uh, whether or not PEA can be used as a valid cleaning agent. So I went to the Journal of Carbon uh, and found an article entitled Effects of Fuel Additives on the Microstructure of Combustion Engine Deposits. It sounded pretty perfect for what I was looking at. Now in this article they compare base gasoline versus gasoline with PEA and what they found was with the gasoline with PEA there was a 73% reduction of the mass of the intake valve deposits versus the base gasoline. What they also found was that there was a 21% increase in the mass of deposits on the cylinder heads. So they didn't explain uh, what this increase of deposits came from, so it could be from the carbon uh, from the intake valves, it could be from the PEA bonding to the cylinder heads, or it could be basically with the PEA that there was more uh, deposits formed and that resulted ended up on the cylinder heads. Another interesting thing they claimed was that the deposit buildup reaches an equilibrium at about 10,000 miles. So this means that the amount of deposits forming versus the amount of deposits leaving is equal at this point in time and you have a steady state of carbon buildup within the engine. Next I checked out a journal entry within the Journal of the Society of Automotive Engineers. And in this journal entry they were comparing base gas versus gas with additives. Uh, in each test they would use new cylinder heads as well as new intake valves. So this is kind of more representative of a brand new engine. So it was interesting to see what they found out. And what they discovered was that they measured uh, the deposit thickness on the heads and the pistons and the thickness of the fuels without any additives in them was actually the least. So fuels without any additives showed the least amount of deposits on these new cylinder heads and valves. They also used uh, several different additives including PEA, PIBA, and PNA. Uh, and of these three, PEA had the least amount of deposits. However, it was still more than the gasoline without any additives in it. So, what's our conclusion? Well, for engines that do have a significant amount of carbon buildup, additives with PEA, such as gum out, can be used to help remove that buildup. So, what's my personal recommendation? Well, for those of you who have cars which are new or have clean engines, 
and typically those that you use them every day where they're not sitting for long periods of time, simply using high quality gasoline you're going to be able to keep your engine clean. Now for those who have older cars or cars with engines that have quite a bit of carbon buildup, and an easy way to check would be to use a boroscope and either look through where the spark plug is screwed in or where the fuel injectors are if you have port injection to look at the intake valves. Using an additive with PEA can be an effective way to remove those carbon deposits. So as a simple experiment I've removed a piece of my muffler, this is just the end of the tailpipe and as you can see there's a good amount of carbon buildup on it so I'm just going to set this in a bowl, pour some gum out in there with it and see what happens to the carbon. So after letting that sit in the gum out solution for a little while you can see, um, and I kind of shook it around a little bit in there as well to kind of coat it well, you can see there's a good amount of carbon which has actually come off and I did go ahead and rinse this in hot water before uh, putting it in the solution and then letting it dry just so that anything loose on it would just come off in the water rather than in this solution. So if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.